What is up, guys? Amp here, bringing you a Halo Reach commentary. And uh, today we're playing some Warlock in the MLG playlist with my buddy Court. You guys might know Court from uh, the dual com we did forever ago. I might have him back on pretty soon. I'm not sure. I'm trying to get back into Halo a bit. Um, this is sort of an older game, but I do want to talk about one of the things that has come out since this game was played, and that is the title update. Now, the title update in Halo, in Halo Reach, that is, is pretty awesome. It first off helps compatibility with Halo Combat Evolved, which comes out November 15th. If you guys said no, uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary, that's what I mean. So, if you're interested in getting that, it gives you all these old maps from or remastered maps like Beaver Creek and all that stuff from Halo 1 and a little bit from Halo 2, so that you can play those online. And then Anniversary itself is two-player co-op upgraded version of the old Halo CE that you remember and uh, you get to use a little button you know f the little feature to go back to what the graphics were like and all that stuff so it's pretty awesome if you're a Halo fan and I'm going to get it since it's only forty dollars it's not the full sixty dollar price that you'd get for Battlefield or Modern Warfare 3 or any of those newer games so let's go to the title update itself though the biggest thing that people have been talking about at least in the competitive community is the option to take away the bloom on the DMR. Mainly the DMR. Obviously you can take it off pretty much any weapon you want. Um, I haven't looked at the settings exactly, but I'm pretty sure you can. You can take it off for the pistol as well, which makes a lot of sense, to me at least. But a lot of people are, are bitching about the pistols already. These things without bloom. Oh my god. I thought, because if you guys if you guys watched, if you knew this information already, you probably ended up watching the gameplay on um, Prisoner, the the map was Prisoner in Halo 1. The gameplay on Prisoner, or Damnation, or I can't remember exactly what it was. No, it wasn't Prisoner. It was definitely Damnation. And now, now I'm just confusing myself though. So you watch the gameplay that they had uh, from, I believe it was PAX, and it showed that there was no bloom and it had the giant reticle, or it had the big reticle on the DMR, and not the smaller one in the center, which was really to me, it felt like that would suck, you know? Even if though there was no bloom, it would suck to have that huge-ass reticle to be shooting at somebody with, because you wouldn't know where it would go in that reticle, so it wouldn't really make as much of a difference besides the fact that you could fire it faster and it would still have the same consistency, which wouldn't be a very good consistency to start off with. But, thankfully, the smaller circle inside that actually is the one that blooms will is it actually stays there in the in game and it's really nice to be able to use that tiny ass little circle to shoot at your team your enemy's head with oh my god i played i played let's see i played two three maybe three games with no bloom and i am in love with it i am in love with it it is freaking awesome now unfortunately i've been playing a lot of gears um just because that's the newest game out and i got a bunch of friends playing you know just go with the flow, and uh, we had the tournament, um, and we ended up getting fourth out of like the 12, 15 teams that were there. Uh, it was a little disappointing. I mean, the settings weren't ideal. It was like two, it was execution, and there's two rounds to win, and it was, it, I won't get into it too much, but it was unfortunate how that turned out. Anyways, I wasn't playing well just because, you know, I'm not a Gears player at all. So, I've gotten a little bit better since then, been doing some private match stuff against bots and getting used to some of the weapons and stuff like that. I tried out the ultimate control scheme, but anyways, that's Gears. This is Halo. No Bloom is awesome. I'm thinking about hosting an open lobby since the Gears lobby didn't really get a lot of attention. Uh, I'm hosting an open lobby for Reach because I really want to play these games and you can only play them in customs right now because uh, the actual playlist and stuff that they'll have will be coming out soon. I think they might come out with the game. Uh, they might come out a little earlier, I'm not quite sure. But watch how I stay alive here, this is ridiculous. And to wrap up this commentary, I wanted to talk about the Battlefield 3 beta. Battlefield 3 beta comes out September 29th, which is in three days, and I'll be playing the shit out of that thing. So if any of you guys want to play with me, I'll also be trying to get some of you in there as well. So just send messages to me every once in a while, see what I'm up to, and um, I usually play in the evenings, and let's let's get to it. Let's play some Reach too. I'll be playing Reach over in lobby next weekend. And make sure you check out these two videos. Uh, last week's Gears of Three commentary. It's a pretty good game of Gears of Three, Gears of War Three, 
And uh, the other video on Amplified HD2 is a game of Mike Myers you will enjoy.